do do do. Sure. Alright. Let's see. Well. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. Now, as a, as you can see here, I'm actually driving back and forth on these train lines, on these train tracks. Now you're probably wondering what the setup's here for. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh my god! I almost got hit by the train, but I didn't because I saw it coming, along with the lights turning color. Let's learn how. Let's learn how how we do this. All right. All right. So. That train is automatically moved to this area. And because I want to have it automated, let's actually turn this around. But, by the way, uh, let's say this uh, one thing that I want to make clear is uh, this tutorial video may take a long period of time for me to explain it and recreate what I did. I'm not kidding about that because I had so much problems with this, this, this setup, it's not funny. It took me about two hours to figure out how to um, get together. So hopefully this tutorial works. And of course, uh, I'm also using mods, but dude, all this here is vanilla. And of course, I gotta get rid of that music because I really don't want uh, YouTube yelling at me for all this other stuff. So, hopefully this tutorial is helpful and I'm also gonna do debugging along the way. Alright. Alrighty. So. Yeah. Let's, let's say we got this train all set up now. Now there's a path. But I kind of want to put a railway state, a, a thing here. First, we're gonna need some gates, some a bit of wall. Well, it's good to have some of the wall down because it does look nice. We're also gonna need some red wire, and of course, we're gonna need a train. And I'm probably going to need an electric pole too because we also want the lights there too to also assist with us. I'm going to put down another one of these, a high voltage transmitter, and I'm going to put it down right here. Alright, see how the train just keeps going around? It's going to keep going around until, until something happens. Alright, let's say I'm just a random player on the server, and they, uh, an op so kindly made this. But because of not enough uh, safety, in certain areas, I I'm very concerned that I'm gonna go get hit by it. So I went to the guy's workshop and I got some parts. Now, here's what we're going to do. Oh my, the train almost hit me. I gotta put one over here. One over here. Okay. Now, first of all, we're gonna start with going to be making. Well, I'm gonna use concrete for this because it is a lovely. Uh, here. Alright. Now, now, since we have the gate, we're going to build it out a bit. Of course, I'm going to try making this video as short and sweet as possible, which is very hard to do on tutorials, especially something like this. Now, let's go take a look at how our, our op made this, which requires a, red, a red, rail signal here and one here. And another one here. And another one right there. Huh. Neat. Okay. But we can't put that down just... We can't mimic it. We have to actually follow what the op did. So, when a train gets this close, we're going to want it to actually stop at a certain point. But we can look at the op's work, and we can resume. And of course, you can see all the lights turn color. Now, the actual other part where we have to put down this. Alright. Because train parts can be fixed, but players' lives, on the other hand, do matter. Especially, but, 
especially those players that are completely awesome. If you're one of those awesome players out there, you know what I'm talking about. And you don't want to die randomly on the vanilla servers because one, <laughs> ten, you tend to lose a lot of cool stuff from servers not having death chests to all kinds of stuff. Which the um, guys that designed this game should probably in implement at some point. The reason why I'm putting that down is to have a clear visual of what we're doing. Alright, now the fun part. We're going to wire this up, and as we're going to do, we're going to follow this design right here. Oh yeah, we got to put down the light, and another light. Now let's wire this up with this, and then another one. Oh, can't do that because of lack of wire. Alright, now we can select this, go here, and down here. Nice, right? Now let's config this option. So, when this is actually closed, we should take a look at the op. See what he did. Alright, so we're going to need to make sure this is all set. So we need to have red as A, and orange as A, and green as green. And that's how this is set up. Unfortunately, that turned to white. Hmm. Interesting. So... Orange is going to be stuff, but don't really, don't really have a pattern compa comparison. But at the same time, I'm doing this as basic, basic as I can. So when on red output, it's going to signal A. Go over here, go to here, select A, put it as equal because now it's going to do that, and we're going to use color. See, and it automatically turns to that color. But because we don't like that color, we're going to do red. So when this goes here, we're going to select red too. Let's go over here and do the same. Use color, red, equal to, and voila. So now this signal's activated. We just have to wait for the train to cross again. <laughs> well, let's go and work on the gate part because let's see here. This track is going to do an A move. So that means this also does an A as well. But because it's a color coded, we can go here, go from the selector again, go here, grab another line, put string it through here. Oh, oh no. Looks like the line can't handle that. And then right here. There we go. Now, we're going to configure this to a sensor. Put that to red, and then put this to red, and then do that. That has to be equal. Oh no, we messed up. But the tracks came up in time. So, let's show our op friend, or in this case, MH Alicorn, that we need to have more safety. Because we want some time before we can cross, and this turns a different color. So that's why we have this one out here. Now let's pick this up. These will all save the configs, I believe. Yep. I also put a uh, another branch here. So we can do that. Since we already know how to make it closer, let's make it more safer. So we're going to connect here, here, and here. Which is good because that means we can get from here over, which apparently the game does not like me right now. Yeah. I have to put another one here. Put that here, that, and that. There we go. Now, obviously, it kept the same settings. Now, when the train comes again, it's already set up for the red. So this should automatically change. See? But we want this to open. Of course. Okay, I thought we were out of range for a second there. Of course, we also want to grab from here and put down. Press Q and put that here. All right. Let's go talk to the trains and have them just constantly go. See? 
Now, those should close automatically. Hmm, looks like this one did not want to close correctly. Oh dear, this isn't connected correctly. So, that means we need to pretty much re rewire this whole system, which we can do by doing this, this, and this. And of course, when the condition goes to red, the lights will go out and they will come up. So, we can tell our op that we've done a successful job of turning that in. And of course, there's also this other sensor here that we can put in. Where, look at that. There we go. Now let's drive. Do, 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 do. Yay! Of course, I have to go back to the base anyway. Oh, we should stop because that, that turned yellow. Now we can go. Oh. Looks like we gotta tell the op to change this because that's very dangerous. Well, I'm gonna go fix this up and tell uh, Rage Alicorn that I've made a better system than him. And knowing that, he's probably gonna yell at me, but at the same time say thank you because I made this safer. So, with that, this tutorial is concluded, and I hope you stay safe on those train tracks, alright? That means that means you. <laughs> that means that means you. <laughs> well, uh, psychotic flames, especially with your uh, wanting to uh, cross the track so quickly. All right, I spent most of your, I spent a good amount of your time. And by the way, if there's ads on this video, leave a comment saying there's an ad on here. Can you please remove it? All right. See you in the next tutorial.